Hi everyone, this is Dr. Merhut with Elite Sports and Spine Chiropractic. Continuing this week's Elite Education Series, we're going to be talking about neck adjusting. So the cervical spine, um, this is commonly something people come to the office and will say they're a little bit weary about it. They don't want their neck cracked. Um, so we're going to be going over a couple different adjusting styles, um, both with the patient laying face down as well as the patient laying face up. Some of them are um, the uh, typical chiropractic adjustment that most people um, are familiar with, and then we're going to go over a couple other styles that are more low force if um, you're more interested in not having your neck cracked. Um, you'll see some examples of what else uh, we do in the office um, if uh, patients don't want that or if um, we know that a patient can't tolerate that for whatever reason. There are other styles of adjusting that we'll do. So to start things off, we have Dr. Keklak here again today. Um, we're gonna be doing face down prone adjusting uh, of the cervical spine. Uh, so for him, this one's going to be more of the um, high velocity one uh, where there's a little bit more force put in through uh, the joint space. Um, so for this one, I'm going to have him turn his head all the way to the left and just rest it down there. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to contact it uh, right through the joints uh, of the neck. I'm going to apply some pressure upward with this hand as well as um, downward with my adjusting hand. And then I'm strictly just going to go straight into that area and um, give the adjustment just like that. Um, another form of adjusting is when we have them face down. Uh, this one's more of a lower force style adjusting. Is I'm going to be applying contacts um, on both sides as he shakes his head no back and forth. Um, be working my way up the neck at each level, um, focusing on levels that needed a little bit more applying pressure differently in different areas with that and going all the way up into basically the base of the skull and the occiput. Okay, so then we'll have him flip over. We're going to demonstrate um, the supine adjusting when he's face up, which is uh, more typical of the chiropractic adjustment, adjustment that people recognize. So with this one, um, we'll find the area that needs adjusted. Uh, I'm going to take him over to the side and then do a little bit of rotation um, in the neck. It's not a whole lot of rotation. A lot of people think when there's an adjustment, we're really like cranking the neck all the way around. That doesn't occur. We get the joint to what we call lockout. So there's a position that we find where the, the joints um, locked out in position right before we adjust it. So right there is his lockout point. And then I'm just going to thrust a little bit through um, to have that adjust right like that. So pretty simple and easy. Again, there's not a whole lot of force that needs to be applied through that one either. Um, and then we'll do one more uh, face-up adjustment, which is a lower force style adjusting technique that we use on some patients where I'm really going to be taking his head and I'm going to be pushing it forward, what we call a stair-step method. You're going to be watching his neck kind of go up into a stair-stepping motion. So I'm just going to be applying uh, pressure straight upwards. Uh, this helps me determine which segments uh, are fixated and need a little bit more movement. When I find that area that needs it, I'm literally just taking pressure and applying it and moving his head into basically a figure eight style motion and applying pressures into different areas um, to get the movement and mobility that I want through that area. And then we would reassess the same way, just based on going up into each level of stair stepping. And then if we find another level that's fixated after that, continue with that figure eight style motion. So those are four different styles of adjusting that we would do um, in the neck uh, for different reasons, sometimes headaches, sometimes uh, they just need adjusted for whatever reason, where there's a fixation through those joints and we're trying to get a little bit more mobility through there. Uh, so two of those were more of a high velocity um, style of adjusting and two of them were more of a low velocity style adjusting um, for patients that would rather tolerate um, or prefer that style. So this is the Elite Education Series. I um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the past three weeks where we went through lumbar spine, low back adjusting, thoracic spine, mid back adjusting, and then this week the neck and uh, upper back adjusting. So if you have any questions on the different techniques that we use here, um, there are others that we did not mention and demonstrate through here, but there's a variety of things that we use. We like to customize the treatment plan for the patient based on what they're coming in with and what they can tolerate. Uh, so feel free to comment uh, or feel free to share this with patients or people that you think uh, could benefit from our services. This is the Elite Education Series. Join us next week uh, for uh, whatever surprising topic we come up with.